welcome back to a new vlog. Oh my honey, we are pale. It's been a while since our last vlog. I think I haven't vlogged in like almost a week. Today's Wednesday. It is a bright and early day. Yeah, I need to go to the pool or something. I haven't been to the pool in a while, but um, anyway, I'm getting ready to do a quick workout to start out my day. I'm gonna go in the Peloton for like 30 minutes. I'm drinking a Celsius. I've really been liking these drinks. I got these in a pack from Costco a few weeks ago and I've been drinking them every single time I, well not every time, only when I feel like I need energy. But anyway, today I have a few things on my to-do list. I need to go get my lashes filled. I was gonna do um, my like beauty maintenance vlog over the weekend, but I decided to give myself off and not work and not vlog. So I didn't vlog over the weekend and um, I rescheduled my lash appointment from Sunday to today. I also got my nails done over the weekend. I got the Hailey Bieber trending donut glaze nails. Honestly, I only got this because I had no idea what to do for my nails. I just knew I needed to get it done. Um, so I remember seeing this on like Pinterest, all over Pinterest. So I was like, you know, let me just try out the trend. And it's cute, I like it. So yeah, that's the plan for today. I have a little bit of work to do. Honestly, I was gonna vlog yesterday, but I got a little bit emotional because Aunt Flo came to town and she came early. I was not expecting her. So yeah, I wanted to record like two videos yesterday, but then I just completely had like a mini mental breakdown. I also had like a panic attack. I had an anxiety attack. Um, so it kind of disrupted my day. So today is gonna be a better day. I'm having a better feeling about today, but you know, those kind of things happen. Days like that are kind of unavoidable for me. They just come, but usually when they come, they go just as quick. So I know that, you know, whenever I'm having a bad day or like kind of like in a not so positive mental place for the day, I know that it's not permanent and that it'll pass. And I feel like it has passed. I mean, today's a new day. That's the great thing about life. Tomorrow is always a new day. So I feel I feel positive energy today. And that's why I want to go work out. I want to go just get all those endorphins in and um, just start my day off positively. Oh, and for a while, I have been meaning to go to TJ Maxx. I've just been wanting to go there for a while to like check out like what they have and start doing fall shopping i've started my fall shopping i'm crazy but as soon as august hit i was just so ready i don't know there's something about august that makes me feel so relaxed and at peace i don't know it just feels like such a peaceful time like it's the last month of summer technically it's like the last month to like do fun stuff for you have to go back to school like i remember when i was in school and it was august it would just kind of be an exciting time because I would be so excited to go back to school but also it was like the last few weeks of summer so you like want to have fun like I know a lot of families go to like the beach I think me and Andre were trying to go to the beach we were trying to go like last weekend for like his birthday his birthday was in July um so we were trying to do that but we were just so busy this summer I don't know what it is but like life just keeps getting in the way and we're really not prioritizing going away on trips we're really prioritizing work but for good reasons. So um, I don't know, I think we're gonna try to go somewhere maybe at the end of August or maybe for Labor Day weekend. Yeah, there's just something about August that makes me feel so excited. Like I was such a nerd in school. I was the type that would like buy her school supplies the first, like as soon as August hits, I'm going to Target or to Staples with my school supply list. And I was ready to shop for all new brands, brand new supplies. I guess it's kind of like the same thing with like how I am now, like, as soon as fall hits, I am out at the stores re ready to buy some new boots and some fur jackets and some fall clothes. And actually, that's what I've been doing. I've been shopping at like Nordstrom. Mango had a huge sale the other day. And when I um, have my time of the month, I like have these like urges. Something's wrong with me. I don't know what it is. But when I have when I when it's my time, I like get like really emotional. I'm just like, oh, I, need I have like urges to do something. I probably should like release that on working out. But every time I get my um, my thing I like can't work out because I have like just crazy pain but anyway um, I had like the crazy urge to just like go shopping so I um, like placed a huge order at Saks Fifth Avenue which is that I, oh my god I don't know why I did that that was an impulse uh, decision but anyway so yeah we have some fall hauls incoming upcoming for I'll probably start posting them like mid-August um, I feel like that's a good time and I don't know maybe I'll do like some back to school like I don't know what my demographic is I feel like my demographic is like 25 to 34 i think that's like the popular age but for some reason i just want to do so many like back to school things i don't know why maybe if you guys have kids 
um, and they want to watch some back to school stuff. I can do some stuff. I don't know. I think I'm rambling at this point because this drink is giving me so much energy. All right, so um, I'm gonna just, yeah, let's go work out now then. Oh yeah, and I love working out now because I feel like I talk about my office in every video, but it's so clean in here. I finally have like a little space here next to my Peloton to put all my stuff down. Before it was just like papers and stuff everywhere. But yeah, it is nice and clean. So, okay, we're gonna just do like a 30 minute ride, maybe 45 minutes since I'm feeling it today. I have not done a Cody Rigsby ride in so long, so we're gonna do one with Cody. I always check the music beforehand. Does anyone else do that? Sometimes I like can't take a class if I don't like the music. This is all 90s music. It's about moving our bodies and getting a great workout. I like that. But most importantly, I want to see a smile on your face. Yes. And I would love for you to shake That's why I love face. Cody. He's just so positive and uplifting. Before we he just makes ride, me so happy. <sighs> the aftermath of the ride. I like lost my voice so many times. I really thought what just, I don't even know, things are falling. So many times I thought I had to stop and go get my inhaler. I usually have my inhaler next to me, but I forgot to bring it. Next to me, it's in my bedroom. I was not reliant on my inhaler at all. I probably hadn't used it for like two years before I got sick. Um, now I need it all the time. Like after five minutes of being on here, I needed it right away. But I just like decided to keep going, um, which I can do. Like I can manage without it, but it's hard. So I need to go get it right now. And then I'm gonna go hop in the shower and um eat some breakfast maybe make a smoothie i think i need a green smoothie but it was a very good workout also i've gotten a few comments on both here on youtube and instagram um asking about like my weight loss and just like my weight in general and um people wanted me to talk about it i could do that in maybe like a separate video you know what i was doing i was planning I'm doing like an update, like if there will not anymore because it's past 30 days, but I was thinking about doing like a 30 day update with my Peloton, like how I like it, how much weight I've lost, if I've lost any, like what, if I think it's worth it or not. I was thinking about doing a whole video on that. I was thinking about doing that back 30 days after I got it. It's been like four months since I've had my Peloton, so I could still do that video, but like generally, I don't really notice a weight loss with myself. I feel like I feel a little bit better and like my clothes are fitting a little bit better like they're not as snug fitting as they used to be but I personally don't keep track of how much I weigh in pounds because uh, just in the past it's really messed with my mind like it's really caused a lot of like damage to me knowing how much I weigh like mentally it just like crushes me to know like if I've gained weight if I lose weight I don't want my happiness to rely on the number that the scale says and I also don't want my whole day to be ruined because of a number. So that's why I don't own a scale. I've talked about this before. It's just so damaging to my mental health personally. That's just um, how I am. I don't know if I've lost any weight. I mean, I feel like I don't look as bloated as I used to back in the day. And that's just because um, like people have been asking me what I'm doing. Honestly, I'm just working on the Peloton. I try to do three to four days a week. Um, it's more it's more like three days ever since like I got sick and ever since summer came about like I just have not been great at working out but before I got sick I was working out probably like five to six times a week I was doing weightlifting and um, Peloton I was doing this before we went to Miami I was so big on getting in shape and it really helped like the workouts I was doing so um, but now I kind of like scaled back because like my breathing has been such a problem for me the past few months um, so I do three to four times a week on the Peloton. I try to do like daily walks. That doesn't always happen. So I try to do like two to three walks a week. And other than that, just trying to eat healthy and like not really being so hard on myself in terms of what I eat. Like I will have an indulging day, maybe one or two days a week. Like there'll be one or two days a week when I eat out or I eat something that's not the healthiest for me, like Chinese food or something. Like I won't restrict myself, but usually like the majority of the week, like five to six days out of the week, I try to eat healthy, like a balanced breakfast, like I eat eggs in the morning, some toast, um, avocado, you guys know my like normal breakfast. I try to like eat um, like a small lunch, not small, but like I try to eat like a turkey sandwich for lunch or like a salad, like a chicken salad, something that's not too heavy, but also that's not like too restricting. I do keep track of calories in my head. I used to keep track of calories very, very religiously, which is a very damaging thing. Like I don't wanna like promote that because for some people that's not the best thing to do, like restricting yourself based on calories. But 
Um, I was trying to get 1600 calories a day, but this is different for everyone based on your goal weight. So you don't need to like do, like there's a calculator online that I used and I can link it in the description, but you have to like multiply like your, your goal weight, your current weight, and that'll give you like how many calories you should try to intake every day. So um, yeah, I stuck to, I tried to do 16 calories a day. So again, I could talk about this like in a full separate sit down video because I know a lot of people, I don't know if there are still people from that found me from that video, but four years ago when I first started my channel, my like video that blew up was how I lost 50 pounds in, in five months. And that was like such, a crazy journey for me like I was so I was so strict on myself so I feel like my mindset has really changed since then I'm not as strict like I've obviously gained weight since that video I've gained probably like 20 pounds since that video and I like don't beat myself up over it it's also just like I'm growing up like life is different back then I was like living at home with my parents I didn't have bills to pay um, I didn't have to work as hard as I do now so like different like life factors I feel like apply to why I gained weight also COVID I definitely gained all my weight during during the quarantine but anyway um I can do a separate video but to answer people's questions that I'm getting a lot I work out three to four times a week I do cardio and I do like weightlifting I do Pilates too and I just try to eat healthy and not restrict myself and, and be hard on myself so ah okay that that was a good talk because I needed to cool down before I do anything I literally got so dizzy that workout Oh my gosh, the other day Anto was making the bed and it was the cutest thing I've ever seen. The way he was like folding the blankets. I don't know what it was, but I was just like, oh my God, look at him trying to make the bed. It was so cute, but um, yes. Okay, so I made the bed, got dressed, took a shower, and I think it's kind of hot today, but I'm wearing a maxi dress because even though I showered, I just didn't feel like shaving. I'm just in that mood where I'm just like, Ugh. and you know i'm just kind of barely hanging in there but here's the outfit it's still comfy it's this long black maxi dress this is from princess polly and it's so stretchy it's so comfy it has a slit in the back so i have some you know air going in going in there and keeping me cool but um yeah this situation wasn't good so i had to put on something that could cover my legs and then i just threw on my regular white oversized shirt the one from top shop that i always wear and flip-flops i need to make a coffee i'm so tired i thought that that workout and the celsius was gonna wake me up but i just feel very sluggish today so we're gonna go make a coffee and make probably a quick just a quick breakfast i just put in a couple stevia drops in case you were wondering it's a zero calorie sweetener. I put these in my smoothies all the time and um, I put these in my coffee to like sweeten it up a bit because I don't like to put too much creamer anymore. I used to down my coffee with so much creamer, but I like am limiting the creamer usage, which is another thing I've been doing since I've been trying to like lose some weight, maintain my weight. So I've been using these and they've been really good. First sip of the day, it hits so different when you're tired. I actually did not realize how late it was. It's like lunchtime. Yeah, so I made a taco bowl for lunch. I made this a couple nights ago for dinner, but I made some cilantro rice. I grounded some turkey and um, put taco seasoning on it. I also made this little like corn salad. I tried to like inspire it by my like chipotle bowls, um, but the corn salad has cilantro, red onion, and lime juice. And the cilantro rice is just cilantro, a little bit of butter, salt, and lime juice, tomato, lettuce, and some beans. So I'm gonna top it off with my taco salad and I'm gonna eat this. I'll probably be out for a while cause my last appointment is at four. I'm gonna try to be out the door by like two and get like my shopping and errands done before my last appointment. And my last appointment will probably be about an hour, which will be five and that's a rush hour. So that'll be traffic. I probably won't be home till like 5.30, six o'clock. 
so I'm gonna be out like all day so I want to get like a really hefty um, meal in and probably bring some snacks with me so that I don't get hungry I just made it to the mall I totally forgot that I just got these uh, coupons for Bath and Body Works 20% off your entire purchase and a free gift so perfect timing I'm gonna go to Bath and Body Works I know they have all the fall stuff out already I've seen videos and all the candles and the new scents are out. I mean, I'm excited for fall. Like I've already started fall shopping like for uh, clothes and stuff, but I know it still is a little bit too early. Even though I'm starting to shop for fall clothes right now, the only reason I'm doing that is so I can kind of just get a head start and see like what all the trends are and get together like a fall lookbook. I want to do like a fall lookbook video. So that's kind of the only reason why I'm shopping for clothes. So. Um, early but I don't think I'm ready for fall yet like I am still trying to enjoy this heat and this summer and I'm still trying to go to the pool I haven't been to the pool since July so I'm not ready to buy anything that's pumpkin scented autumn scented yet but I am gonna go check it out and see um, what other because I know they have other like new scents that aren't fall related so we're gonna go check it out I underestimated how hot it was today. I thought it was gonna be in like the 70s, upper 70s. Girl, it's like in the 90s today, but um, I just got finished in the mall. I got some things from Sephora and Bath and Body Works. I'll show you guys what I got when I get home. Um, so my lash appointment, me and my lash girl are so funny. We keep going back and forth and rescheduling on each other, so um, uh, my appointment got rescheduled again, and it's gonna be tomorrow. Totally fine, I'll have more time at TJ Maxx which is where I'm going next. It's so hot. This is why this comes with me everywhere I go. I fill it up with ice, ice cold water. So after I'm walking around wherever I go, I just come back to my car and I just sit here and I chug on some ice cold water. Let's go to TJ Maxx now. I want to get a couple of things for the kitchen. I want to get, um, I want to see if they have like soap dispensers for um, like dishwashing soap because the one I have now it's kind of breaking I could always order it from Amazon but I just wanted to check out TJ Maxx first and see if they have any um, I want I need more candles I'm running out of candles I was actually gonna buy some in Bath and Body Works but those candles are expensive when they're not on sale they're like $27 and I can find way cuter ones for like way cheap so candles um, probably just some home stuff I'll check out the fashion I don't know I never really find clothes I like at TJ Maxx oh and the beauty section is what I want to check out so um, I'll bring you guys along. I haven't done a shop with me at TJ Maxx in a long time. I know you guys like um, stores like that, so I'm excited. dinner I'm having some leftovers I made a lasagna the other night my lasagna this is how much of a hot mess week I'm having so Monday night it was Monday night I um, 
worked like all day. I was so tired. I've been tired this whole week. Um, but yeah, basically Monday around like eight o'clock, I was like done with my day and I got into bed and I was like, you know, I'm just gonna watch a movie. I'm gonna just relax for the rest of my day. Yeah, I fell asleep. I woke up around like 10, 30, 10, 45, almost 11. And I was starving because I didn't eat dinner. I just had the randomest craving for like lasagna and I had all the ingredients. I was planning on making it the next day anyway. So I was like, oh, let me just make it now. I don't care what time it is. So I literally made this whole lasagna, took, you know, an hour, like 30 minutes to like prep and bake it. And I had lasagna around midnight. And yeah, that's, that's just, that's a good gist of how my week is going. So I'm gonna eat some now for dinner. And my lasagna is somewhat healthy, somewhat on the low calorie side. I use ground turkey instead of beef. I don't really eat beef. I don't really like beef, it gives me heartburn. Um, so yeah, I use ground turkey and all the cheeses I use. I use ricotta, mozzarella, and Parmesan. Aside from Parmesan, the cheeses I used were all like skim or low fat. I used low fat mozzarella and part skim um, ricotta. So um, tried to eliminate the calories here with, with all that. But I mean, it still is a lot of cheese. But if you wanna see my recipe, I can probably make this in another vlog. I probably won't make this for a while because this is just too much pasta for the week. I've been eating this all week, literally. Um, but this has been my dinner every day. Just a little slice of lasagna. Hi guys, I am back home. I am in comfortable clothes and now we can do the haul. So I'll start off with TJ Maxx. My TJ Maxx kind of disappointed me. I didn't see a lot of stuff that I liked. There were no cute like shoes or clothes or not even that good of a makeup selection, but I still found some cute things. So I did get a candle. That's really what I wanted to go there for. This one is a really pretty like matte black. Perfect aesthetic, I love that. And the scent is teak wood. It smells like men's cologne, honestly. But it smells really good, I like the smell. So this one was $8. And I got some jewelry from House of Harlow 1960. And it's just like a set of bracelets. I wanted more like everyday bracelets. So these were $15 and I think it comes with like, yeah, it comes with three different ones. They are not all attached. I thought that um, they were attached at first. Here are the three bracelets, this little like chain link one, this little paper clip chain one, and then the stretchy one. I thought that was a cute set. I can put the stretchy one on now. I don't feel like putting the, the chain ones on. Oh, actually, yeah, let's do it. I did get a couple of beauty things. I got a lipstick from MAC. I used to be so obsessed with the MAC lipsticks. This one is in the shade Cherish. And it's a really pretty, like, natural tone. Kind of like a brown, peachy, taupe undertone. So yeah, I thought that was a really pretty color. So I will try that one day when I have my makeup on. And then I also got this uh, from Bite Beauty. This is the Lip Butter Balm, it's just like a lip, a lip butter. And oh, the MAC lipstick was $7.99 and the Bite Lip um, butter is $5.99 and yeah, it's just a lip butter. I just needed more like an everyday chapstick to put like in my purse. So um, I got that and I got a couple of home things. I got this marble tray and I thought this was like really pretty. It's like a slab tray. It's like a cream ivory color and I wanted to put my perfumes on here. So if you guys um, remember my perfumes are right now on this like acrylic three-tiered stand and um, the tiered stand I think my perfumes are too heavy for it because I can kind of notice in the middle it's kind of like uh, slanting down a little bit it's like bending a little bit so I feel like it's just gonna break so I think I'm gonna use the three-tiered stand for something else maybe I'll put like my wallets or uh, I don't know put my sunglasses or something on it I'll put that in my closet and I'll put my perfumes on this little tray. So this was $12.99. And then the last thing I got was a bath mat. I wanna update the bath bath mat in my, my bathroom um, for under the shower. Yeah, so just a plain, this is not exciting, but I wanted to get a new bath mat for my bathroom. So that's all that I got from TJ Maxx. So now we'll do bath and body works. I had my 20% off coupon and I also got a free gift and I also did the buy three full-size bath products, get three free. So I got a total of six products today. 
and everything I got is from the aromatherapy line. I've always been a fan of their aromatherapy um, products, so I wanted to pick up some more. I haven't had some in a while. And what I love the most were these essential oil mists. Um, well, this one is actually an essential oil mist. It has vitamin E and aloe. This is the Open Your Mind scent. It's um, lavender and sandalwood. And then this one is a pillow and body mist, also with vitamin E and aloe. So yeah, it's like natural oils. This one smells amazing. This was my favorite, favorite scent. So I got um, the mist. It's for sleep. It says sleep on it. I also got the hydration body cream. I really like their body creams. I think they're very moisturizing. And this is something I've never gotten from Bath and Body Works before, but these are shower steamers. You put them on the bottom of your shower and it makes oh, the shower smell so good. And it's lavender and vanilla also. So yeah, I was really obsessed with this scent. So I got those and then also got the body wash and foam bath, also from the lavender and vanilla. I got this for my bubble baths. I needed more bath um, foam. And then this is from the Open Your Mind, another uh, thing I got. So I got two products from this um, scent and then the rest, the four I got from that vanilla lavender. And then this is a body and massage oil. I really like body oils for after the bath, after the shower to make my skin so, so smooth. So that's all that I got. And then the free gift, um, they had like a big bucket, like a big basket of things at the front checkout line and the girls like just choose something from that basket. So I picked a, um, a mini body cream from Poppy. I got this to put in my, in my car. And lastly, Sephora. I don't know why I went into Sephora. For one thing i wanted to get some tanning drops for my face because like i was complaining about earlier how pale my face was although it doesn't look that pale anymore maybe it's just the lighting i also did put on a little bit of bronzer today but um yeah so i went in there simply to get tanning oil drops but i ended up with much more so anyway i wanted to try the tan Lux line i've never tried this line before this tanning line and um i know they're like body self tanners popular but they also have face face drops so I usually use the Isle of Paradise ones which I actually was intending on getting but then I saw these instead and I've always wanted to try out this line so I'm going to try this out tonight and see how I like it and then okay I feel dumb for getting this because I came to a firm decision last night it was like 12 o'clock at night I had insomnia I couldn't sleep so I was just like thinking about stuff and I decided last night that I am going to dye my hair dark again for the fall like back to black maybe not black but like do like a dark brown I'm kind of over the blonde just because I'm over bleaching my hair and just damaging it so many times so I'm gonna try to grow out my virgin hair I'm like 90% sure that's the decision I'm gonna come to but uh, the blonde always just pulls me back but as as of now I plan on going back to dark hair probably in September I'm gonna schedule my appointment so I don't know why I bought this um I guess I forgot about that decision I made but this is the Olaplex um blue shampoo so purple shampoo is used for like yellow tones and hair to try to tone that out and blue shampoo is used for more like orangey brassier tones which is kind of what i have I, yeah it's more like orange so um i use both purple and blue i like both but um i picked that up i actually probably will return that um okay and then this product i've been wanting to try for a really really long time i couldn't get myself to buy it because of the price but i just today I had a very emotional day. I don't know if I mentioned in the vlog, but I've been feeling anxious, very, very anxious all day. And I've never vlogged on a day where I was very anxious. Usually when I'm anxious, I just don't, I just don't vlog. But um, so yeah, I was anxious earlier. I feel a little bit better, but um, yeah, I guess that's maybe why I was like, you know what, F it. I'm gonna just buy it. This is the Charlotte Tilbury, the magic eye cream. And I've heard really good things about the Charlotte Tilbury uh, skincare products. It's supposed to help reduce puffiness, help to brighten and reduce the appearance of wrinkles in dark circles. Um, I have high hopes about this. Let me know in the comments if you've tried this and if you like it, if you think it's worth the money because that thing seems expensive for an eye cream. But I'm excited to try that. I'm gonna start using this tonight and use it maybe for about a week just to see if I see any changes. I can keep you guys updated if you'd like. Oh, I got another lipstick. This one is from Anastasia. It's the satin lipstick. And it's in the shade Praline. I don't venture out with my lip colors. My lip colors are very honestly the same. Is that the same as the MAC one? I feel like it's so similar to the MAC one. Literally almost the same kind of shade. Like, 
Could I be any more boring with my lipstick colors? Anyway, I like my neutral colors. And lastly, I got a new bronzer from Dior. I've been using my hourglass bronzer forever. It's starting to run out. I usually repurchase that one, but I thought I would try something different this time. Look how cute the packaging is. It's like a padded, um, quilted, compact, so cute. And the color I got is 06. So I hope that is nice. I've never used this before. Again, if you've used it and you like it, let me know in the comments. So that's everything I picked up today. I will probably go back and return that blue shampoo. Oh, so I do have a couple PR boxes I wanted to show you guys because they're so cute. I already opened both of them, but I wanted to show the vlog too. So this first one is from Revolution Makeup Revolution London. Serving Island Paradise Glam. Okay, so there are lots of lots of colors with these products. There's this eyeshadow palette, which I normally don't play with bright colors like this, but maybe I should step out of my comfort zone and try some fun colors. Okay, so this is a lip gloss, just a plain clear lip gloss. This is a liquid blush. It's like a really pretty peachy, corally color. Also a lip gloss in a color that I like a lot. Another liquid blush. Eyeliner, is this a liquid liner? Oh, lemon yellow, it's a yellow liner. Very interesting. Okay, and there's also, what is a soap styler stick? Is it like actual soap? No water needed to activate. Oh my God, it's a soap. That's so cool. A lip protector, SPF 30. Oh, it's a lip balm. Why did I buy a lip balm? I didn't realize there was a lip balm in here, but that one has SPF. So that'll be very nice for when I go to the pool. I'm finally going to the pool tomorrow. We you know, have to decide today that we're gonna go to the pool tomorrow. Okay, and then there's also a freckle pen. Oh, I've heard about these freckle pens where you can like put like freckles all over your face. I have freckles. I don't know if the vlog ever picks it up, but I do have freckles and they come out when I um, tan. But anyway, I got these lashes. Very, very cute. Wow, I love that style. Even though I'm getting my lashes done tomorrow, I will save that for when I take a break. And lastly, a mascara. So there's a lot of goodies in this box. Thank you very, very much. Makeup Revolution. The last PR box is from, who is this from again? Oh, it's from Kopari. Yeah, I've just started getting into this brand. I tried a couple of products from them before, but they sent over some more bath products. They sent the body wash, foaming body wash. And there is a body milk, ooh, guava hydrating. There's also a deodorant and a exfoliating scrub. And lastly, there is the lip gloss. I actually saw this brand at TJ Maxx today. I think they had some lip products there from them. So, okay, that's all. I have to show you guys hope you enjoyed the haul yeah there's gonna be a lot of hauls in the vlogs coming up soon because i've been doing a lot of shopping i took about like two months break from shopping which for me is like pretty good but i started window shopping like a few days ago and um ordered a lot of stuff online mainly for the fall because like i said i started my fall fashion shopping so i can start planning out like lookbooks and reels and um, put together some outfit ideas for you guys. So I'm kind of like on this spiral and it's getting out of control. I need to stop soon. Yeah, like this is my last time going to Sephora. I say that, but I still go. I'm so annoying. Okay, um, I'm going to put everything away. I'm gonna go um, transfer my perfume now because I wanna see how it looks. I don't know if you guys can tell, but the bottom one and the middle one, it's like slanting in. We'll transfer everything here and see how that looks. Okay, so I do like that a lot better. Um, definitely a little bit more minimal to keep the space on top of my dresser a little bit more like open so these ones i'm actually gonna go put in my office because i have another tray in my office if you guys saw it in my office makeover video and i put a bunch of perfumes there so i'm gonna go put those there because these are also like my most commonly worn and here is that other tray so okay perfect while i was at it i just kind of like flip flopped things a little bit the perfumes used to be over there i moved them here to the right side 
and the jewelry is still in the middle and just that little plant is in the corner nothing major but i thought the perfumes made more sense having them here um on this side also my dresser um broke i need to fix that i was also thinking of updating my dresser to a new one when we move i don't know do you guys like this dresser i like it but i feel like it's too white like i have a lot of white going on with my decor and my furniture I really want to upgrade um, the bed frame also to get like a white ivory one. And I also want to update my nightstands. The nightstands match the dresser, but I am I really don't like the matchy-matchy anymore. I really like when things are like kind of contrasted. I feel like it's a little bit uh, childish and outdated for me. So I definitely want to upgrade the bed and get like an ivory one. And with that, I kind of want to get like wooden um, or stone textured or stone colored um furniture here so what do you guys think i don't i don't know maybe i'll keep this white one and get um like just new nightstands but i don't know we'll see but i definitely need to fix that it's been like that for a few months now so i need to get around it but there's there's the dresser for now in my new bathroom mat i'm just testing it out to see how i like it here if i like it and i do so that's it. I just wanted to get a new one. So I'm going to wash that along with the old one that used to be there. But I think that's a little bit better than the old one I used to have. The old one was super, super raggedy and I didn't like the design of it anymore. I'll still keep it just to have as a backup. Oh yeah, this is happening right now. Mm -hmm. We're watching this. When I was driving home from shopping, I just randomly got like a nostalgic feeling for like high school teen movies, the movies that I grew up on. I grew up on this movie. I loved this movie. I also used to cheerlead, so I watched like all the Bring It On movies. That was like my obsession when I was in middle school and high school. Sweet. Her flowers. I study botany. Resting dad face back there. Let's play it too. Grab some pruners. Let's prune. <laughs> oh my god, it's so cold. I um, had a very lazy rest of the evening i watched family feud all night me and Anto have been loving family feud so we watched that tonight and i online shopped and it was very uneventful so um yeah i am so tired so i'm getting ready for bed i'm doing an ice rolling thing for my face i just got this ice roller not just i got it probably like maybe a month ago but i got it from amazon i always get so scared to like touch my face i'm also really sleepy and this is gonna wake me up but it's fine, I need to do it because I feel so bloated today. <clears throat> okay. Once you get over the initial, like, the first touch, it becomes easy after that. So I want to do a little bit of ice rolling, a little bit of gua sha, rid of some of that puffiness. Oh, and I remember I mentioned how I was having, like, a jaw clenching problem a few vlogs back, and I'm happy to say that it kind of just went away. I feel like it was really all just mental for me. I mean, I still grind my teeth and clench my jaw a little bit, but it doesn't like, it's not as annoying and what do you call it? Like numbing as it used to be. Oh my God, we are gonna sleep so good tonight. Going to spray some of that sleep pillow and body mist. All right, guys, I'm calling it a night. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one.